您现在收看的是华视教育文化频道。接下来要播出的是英语口语训练一。Again, everyone, welcome back to Conversational English, Book One. Today we have for you Lesson Thirteen, Girls' Night Out. This lesson has a problem in your textbook that we have to talk about first thing. You will see, beginning on page one hundred thirteen until the end of the lesson, that the running titles, that is the title at the top of each page. Is still lesson twelve. We apologize for this printing error. It should say lesson thirteen, girls' night out, but it says lesson twelve, meeting the girls. I was confused when I saw this.、Uh, I'm afraid you will be too. So we want to inform you about that change right now. 嗯，所以呢，各位同学们，大家好。那这个欢迎大家了，今天一起来上第十三课。那么刚刚 Bruce 老师呢，首先致歉的是说，那么呢，提醒各位同学，不要以为你翻错课了，没有错，你是到第十三课了哦。那但是呢，因为它的这个标题每一页的那个 running title， 就是最上面的那个标题呢，印错了，所以还是印第十二课的。这边赶快跟同学们提醒一下哦，所以不用担心，内容是正确的第十三课。那这个边跟大家也致歉一下。So, girls' night out sounds like fun to me. The girls get together, good friends, possibly even family members, but just the girls go out and have a good time together. And we hope you'll have a good time with this lesson too. 嗯，那么所以今天呢，我们这一课要看到单独是女生出去狂欢的夜晚是什么样的夜晚呢？那么希望这一课大家跟我们一样会觉得非常的有趣。我们赶快来上这堂课吧。Can be. Great idea, Carolyn. I'm glad you're having fun. You look like you had fun on the roller coaster. Actually, I was scared to death. I wanted to scream, but I just didn't want you two girls to feel afraid. Aww. <laughs> Are you kidding? That was awesome. Now I want to try the haunted house. Any takers? Me, me. Not me. I'd probably have a heart attack. Oh come on, Masa! It'll be fun. You mean you're going to? Masa and I will stay right here、yeah. and guard the fort. You guys, go ahead and enjoy yourselves. Hey, look, Masa! What? There's some cotton candy. I'll treat you to some. Oh, good. Okay, we'll meet you here later. Chickens. Judy has charge. Me too. Come on, Masa. Mm, I'm right behind you. How was it? Creepy. 
but we had fun. I thought I heard some screaming. How bad was it? Oh, Mom, you've got to go away next time. It was way fun, really. Maybe next lifetime. Dear, it's just not me. The kids loved it, and so did I. It was sometimes corny, but sometimes realistic. I admit I screamed more than they did. <laughs> the point is to have fun, isn't it? So, what do you guys want to do next? How about some games? There's the dart and balloon game, and a basketball game, and a ring toss game. Anyone want to join me in a dart and balloon game? I saw some great prizes if you have enough points. Come mm, in. Maybe I'll give it a try. Okay, let's go. So good at darts, Martha. You won the top prize. <laughs> yeah, now we have to call you the Queen of Darts. <laughs> <laughs> Believe you me, no one is more surprised than I am. Hey, it's only nine o'clock. Do you guys want to stay for another hour? Yeah. yeah. Well, the girls certainly looked like they had fun. Mm -hmm. Now we'll take a short break before we come back and do the vocabulary. Maybe we'll have some fun with that. We'll take a short break before we come back and Okay, we're ready for part three, words and phrases. Remember, I'll say each item twice, so you have time to repeat after me what I say. Then we have the translation, and then we go to your sample sentence. Ready? Number one, snack. Snack. 点心. Mom doesn't allow us to eat candy for a snack. Instead, she prepares fresh fruits or vegetables. Mama Number two, be scared to death. Be scared to death. I was scared to death when I saw the little boy on his bicycle in the middle of the road. 我看到小男孩在马路正中间骑脚踏车时，我吓得半死。Number three, scream, scream, 尖叫。Sally screamed when she saw the big spider run across the floor. Sally 看到一只大蜘蛛跑过地板的时候，她吓得尖叫。Number four, awesome. Awesome. 太棒了。What did you think of the new Bruce Willis movie? It was awesome, man. I want to see it again. 你觉得布鲁斯威利的新电影如何啊? 棒透了,老兄,我想再看一遍呢。Number five. Haunted house. Haunted house. 闹鬼的屋子。the junior high school boys dared each other to enter the old haunted house during a full moon. Number six. Any takers? Any takers? 有没有人要啊? I just met, made some fresh cookies. Any takers? I'd love some. 我刚做了些新鲜的饼干,有没有人要啊? 我想要来一点。Number seven, heart attack. Heart attack. 心脏病。Mr. Liu died of a heart attack because he smoked too much and was greatly overweight. 刘先生死于心脏病,因为他烟抽太多,而且他太胖了。Okay, here we have a couple of points. No, Lori can read Chinese, but the problem is the book didn't print it correctly. So we have another typo here. 
good chance to introduce a new word to you. A typo is a mistake made in printing. Typo is short for typographical error. So you don't have to learn all of that. Just learn typo. T-Y-P-O. T-Y-P-O. Tada Fu Su Jia S. There are two typos in this lesson. T-Y-P-O-S. Because Liu, L-I-U, is the way we usually spell Liu. Lean should be L-I-N. 嗯,好,所以這邊呢,Bruce老師提醒大家有一個typo,就是有一個打字的錯誤呢,就是這裡劉先生,一般呢,我們使用的是L-I-U這樣的一個spelling,那麼如果是零的話呢,應該是L-I
for communication, particularly in dialogues between friends. Mmm means that you think something will taste good or uh, you're interested in it or it sounds delicious, something like that. And the spelling is not uh, formal. You might see two M's, three M's, four M's, bui ding, but I've written three M's here as a kind of average for the spelling of this sound. Whether it's a word or not, let the linguists worry about that. <laughs> That's a good conclusion. So, 呢，这边 Bruce 老师讲到说，在很多语言里面，尤其在对话的时候，会有很多这种我们中文叫撞声词哦，就是它是表达一种声音。那这个声音传达的，就像这个三个 M 呢，很像 Bruce 老师刚刚说的，可能你觉得东西很好吃，或者你有什么事情，哎，你很有兴趣，嗯，这样啊，或者就是听起来反正就很好吃这样子。那么呢，这个拼法呢 ，Bruce 老师说有两个 M 的，有三个 M 的，有四个 M 的。那这里呢，他取了一个中间的平均啊，那么所以呢，就放三个。那这个拼法其实本身它并不是一个正式的拼法，不过呢 ，Bruce 老师刚刚说的结论就是让那些语言学家啊去决定吧。哦，那我们只要会用啊，用的好就可以了。Right, number thirteen, creepy, creepy， 令人毛骨悚然。These woods in winter look very creepy, so few people are brave enough to enter them. 冬天里，这个森林看起来有点怕人，所以呢，几乎没有人敢走进去。Number fourteen, way, way. 太，非常。What did your parents say when you got home after midnight? <laughs> They were way mad. 你过了午夜才到家，你爸妈有没有说什么啊？他们气炸了。Okay, for number fourteen. I admit it. I made a mistake. Guilty as charged. <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> Beautiful. Way here is not used as an adjective. It's used as an adverb. So on your screen, your TV screen, we changed it. It's correct, but it was too late to change it in your textbook. So adjective should be. Adverb. Sorry. <笑>好的，所以呢，这边同学可以决定要不要原谅 Bruce 老师啊、哦，因为呢，他真的很忙，所以呢，他不小心犯了一个小小的错误。那这边的话呢，这里的 way 它是用来修饰这个呃形容词啊、right. 哦，那所以它呢的功能应该是 adverb 叫副词。那大家看到屏幕上面我们已经有改正了，但是课本上要请同学帮我们把笔拿起来帮他改一下。不过这样搞不好可以加深你的 impression。加深你的印象，反而你会更记得。Way 这边是副词，那就要谢谢 Bruce 老师了。Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, adverb a d v 点是简写。嗯。The word is adverb a d v e r b a d v e r b adverb. Let's continue. Number fifteen. Maybe next lifetime. Maybe next lifetime. Now that you have two children, are you planning to have more? Maybe next lifetime. I have my hands full with just two. 你现在有两个小孩了，有没有计划再生啊？哦，也许下辈子吧。两个就让我忙不过来了。Number sixteen. Be just not someone. Be just not someone. 不是我的作风。It's just not me to point out others' faults. I believe they should find them out themselves. 我的个性不喜欢指出别人的错误。我认为他们应该自己找出自己的错误。Number seventeen, corny, corny. 老套的。Paul's party jokes were so corny that no one laughed at them. Paul 聚会时说的笑话很老套，所以听了没有半个人笑。Uh, here, I think we have another typo or misprint. That should be Bruce's party jokes. Oh, 这个不是 typo 哈，这 Bruce 老师他觉得自己讲的笑话很冷很老套，可是其实我觉得不会，蛮多时候还蛮好笑的。And I have one question. Um, I used to learn a word cliche. Yes. And does that mean totally the same thing here as corny? Not necessarily. Uh -huh. uh, a cliche is a term used in language teaching 
an expression that everybody uses again and again, and so it's not interesting anymore. It's boring. Mm -hmm. In fact, the word cliché is French. It's spelled C-L-I-C-H-E, and often that E has that line over it. I don't know French, but I know how to spell it. C-L-I-C-H-E, nian, cliché, cliché. A uh, cliché is an expression that uh, used to be popular, but it isn't anymore. Mm -hmm. But doesn't corny mean the same thing? Like something people say again yeah. and again and again? Yeah, uh, corny is used especially for humor. Ah! But uh, if you're telling a joke that it hanlang, then that's uh, a corny joke. Okay. But a cliché is more in language teaching, an expression that is no longer popular. Got it. Okay. 好，所以呢，这边其实 Bruce 老师讲的这个差别很重要，因为同学，如果你们在写英文或者在用字的时候，有时候我们中文翻译起来好像都很像，其实它是有根本上的不同。那刚刚呢，这个 corny 这个字，大部分是指在幽默上的老套，可能你讲的这个笑话早就已经大家听了几百遍，或者是很冷，所以你可以用 corny 啊。那么呢 ，cliche 刚刚讲的这个字是多半在教学的时候，这个某一个词呢，已经太久了，太老，人家一用再用，已经这个没有任何的了无新意，所以呢，已经不被再使用、被放弃掉的某些成语或者词，你可以叫那种词呢，叫 cliche， 这样子懂了吗 ？Right, let's go ahead. Number eighteen, realistic, realistic， 逼真的。This movie is so realistic that many people thought it was a documentary. 这部电影拍的这么的逼真，好多人都以为是纪录片呢。Number nineteen, point, point. 重点。Professor Ames' speech was too long and disorganized. I couldn't understand his main point. Ames 教授的演讲又长又没组织，我根本听不懂他的重点是什么。Number twenty, dart, dart. 飞镖 James threw three darts, and they all landed in the center of the target. James 射了三只飞镖，全部都落在靶的正中心 Number twenty-one, balloon, balloon. 气球 The little boy cried when he let go of his balloon, and it floated high into the sky. 小男孩手一放开气球，气球就高高的飘上了天空。于是小男孩就哭了。Number twenty-two, ring toss, ring toss. 套环游戏。The ring toss game looks easy, but it's actually quite hard to throw a bamboo ring around a hard object without bouncing off. 套环游戏看起来很简单，但其实要把竹环套在硬物上而不被弹开，很不容易呢。Number twenty-three, prize, prize. 奖品。Sharon won a prize at the music competition for her excellent piano playing. Sharon 以她优异的钢琴弹奏在音乐比赛中得奖。Number twenty-four, point, point. 分数。John won the game with his three-point basket near the end of the game. John 在比赛最后投进三分球，赢得了比赛。Number twenty-five, count me in. Count me in. 算我一份。Would anyone like to join me at the pizza parlor for dinner? Count me in. Pizza is my favorite dish. 有没有人要跟我一起去披萨店吃晚餐呢、啊？算我一份，我最爱吃披萨了。Number twenty-six, top, top. 顶尖的，最棒的。Internationally, the top prizes for scientists are the Nobel prizes. 以国际上来说，科学家的顶尖奖项就是诺贝尔奖。Well, that's it for part three. Let's take a short break before we come back for the quiz. 嗯，我们休息一下，待会儿回来。Okay, our first quiz question: Which of the following is a snack? 
Is it A, cotton candy, B, chicken breast, or C, macaroni salad? Well, a snack would be something like candy, so A, cotton candy, is your answer. 嗯，第一题呢，下列何者是一项点心？那么正确答案就是 A， 棉花糖。Number two, which of the following refers to moving quickly? Is it A, shrug, B, dash, or C, hug? B is your answer. Dash means to run very quickly. 嗯。下列何者指的是非常非常快速的移动呢？正确答案是 B， 就是呢这个 dash。Number three, what would you do to make sure something is right? You should choose B, double check. 下列何者呢？是你嗯会做的动作来确保某件事情是对的。正确答案就是 B， 双重的检查。Number four, mosquitoes, flies, and ants are often referred to as C. Pests. 好的，接下来呢，像这个蚊子啦、苍蝇啦以及蚂蚁呢，通常会被指或被称为是什么？正确答案是 C， 就是害虫。And number five, which of the following is called a game? Again, the answer is C, darts. 接下来这一题呢，下列何者是被称为一种游戏？正确答案还是 C， 就是飞镖。All right, we have just enough time for you to enjoy dialogue again. 我们再来看一次对话吧。Hey, this is just great. I forgot how much fun an amusement park can be. Great idea, Carolyn. I'm glad you're having fun. You look like you had fun on the roller coaster. Actually, I was scared to death. I wanted to scream, but I just didn't want you two girls to feel afraid. Oh, <laughs> are you kidding? That was awesome. Now I want to try the haunted house. Any takers? Me, me. Not me. I'd probably have a heart attack. Oh, come on, Martha. It'll be fun. You mean you're going to? Martha and I will stay right here、yeah. and guard the fort. You guys, go ahead and enjoy yourselves. Hey, look, Martha. What? There's some cotton candy. I'll treat you to some. Oh, good. Okay, we'll meet you here later. Chickens. Judy has charge. Me too. Come on, Martha. Hmm. I'm right behind you. <laughs> Was it creepy? But we had fun. I thought I heard some screaming. How bad was it? Oh, mom, you've got to go in next time. It was way fun, really. Maybe next lifetime, dear. It's just not me. The kids loved it, and so did I. It was sometimes corny, but sometimes realistic. I admit, I screamed more than they did. <laughs> The point is to have fun, isn't it? So, what do you guys want to do next? How about some games? There's the dart and balloon game, and a basketball game, and a ring toss game. Anyone want to join me in a dart and balloon game? I saw some great prizes if you have enough points. Come in.、Mm, maybe I'll give it a try. Okay, let's go. You're so good at darts, Martha. You won the top prize. <laughs> yeah, now we have to call you the Queen of Darts. <laughs> <laughs> Believe you me, no one is more surprised than I am. Hey, it's only nine o'clock. Do you guys want to stay for another hour? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We'd like to stay another hour with the girls too,、yeah. but we can't. We'll see you next week. Till then, bye bye.